Welcome to Strength for Today for April 17th. Don't trust in chariots. Let's look at Psalm 20 verse 7. Psalm 20 verse 7 says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Don't trust in chariots. When the Israelites went into battle, they were to trust God for the victory, not themselves or their weapons. Time and again, God displayed his mighty power to them in the drowning of the Egyptian army at the Red Sea, Exodus 14, in the battle of Jericho, Joshua 6, and the defeat of the Midianites, Judges 7. God gave his people victory after victory when they should have been defeated. But when they didn't seek the Lord and follow him, there were consequences. God wanted them to understand that he was their strength, not their weapons or their strategy. 2 Chronicles 16, 7-10 Today, many people look at their surroundings for strength, not to God. They find their strength in their bank account, their possessions, their career, or their family. As Christians, our strength is in God, not in the things of this world. Our strength comes from the creator of the universe. The same God who gave victory to the Israelites gives us victory in our own life. The Apostle Paul tells us that Christ strengthens us and that his strength is perfected in our weakness, Philippians 4.13 and 2 Corinthians 12.9. We do not need to find our strength for life in our possessions or circumstances. Our strength is found in the Lord our God. Isn't that interesting back then when they would trust God, they would be victorious in battle, but when they tried to do things their own ways, they were defeated. Same thing goes for us. We shouldn't be trusting in our bank account, like they said, or our career or anything like that. Our hope is in the Lord, our God. So, you know, back then they said some trust in chariots. We could say now, you know, some trust in cars or some trust in their bank account, things like that. But you and I, my friend, we are Christians and we are going to put our trust in the Lord, our God. And he is going to lead us and guide us and make us victorious in our life. It may not look victorious to the world, but a successful life to God is one where we honor him every day and where we tell other people about him. That is success. So I hope today you are successful in God's eyes, not the world's eyes. And have a great day being successful in God's eyes because that's all that matters. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day.